Hello, Libra. Welcome to your, your love reading for October 21st through the 27th. Libra, looks like we have three queens on the board today and not one king in sight. Stick around. It's going to get good. Hey guys, if you're looking to get your weekly love fix, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified when we have new releases. Also, please keep in mind this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everyone. I'm also available for personal readings. All the information is in the description box below and you will also get $10 off your first reading with me. So let's get into this. Hey Libra, Looks like you're starting off with the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. Could be arguments, could be fights, could be coming in to just have sex, that phallic symbol there. And this is some with someone from your past. Could be a past life soulmate, could be a an ex, could be somebody you have children with. But there's a choice between two, or this is possibly a soulmate next to the Six of Cups. Wanting to move this to calmer waters. Wanting to move deception to calmer waters. That's what it looks like to me. There's a Seven of Swords, Six of Swords. So you're wanting to move some conflict to calmer waters and take a leap of faith with the Fool. This is air. Could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wants to take a new leap of faith and have a new cup of love here, a new beginning in love. As I'm looking at the cards here, Libra, you have all four aces on the board today. That's not too bad. That's not too shabby. Not to mention you also have the full card here. But somebody wanted to take a leap of faith and have a new beginning in love. Someone's coming in passionately about that. Someone from your past. Could be your ex. Uh, you were a player here. Somebody was a player. Somebody was in and out of your life. Somebody who you know, was probably just, you know, like, could have been like a booty call. You know, this is somebody that's in and out. They're there for a, a short time and a good time. But somebody's speaking their truth about this with the Ace of Swords here. You know, coming in to speak their truth to that person from the past. Maybe about being a player. It comes next to the, the Queen of Wands. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is a very good-looking, smart well-spoken, likes a lot of attention woman, likes a lot of attention. And somebody could be either cutting out being a player, could be speaking their truth about being a player, because somebody is very anxious about this and having a lot of anxiety about moving this to calmer grounds because there was deception here. So there's some secrets that this person doesn't know about. Someone's giving a love message to somebody, you know, coming in with this love message. And it's deceptive. I'm thinking it's deceptive that they're just maybe they're coming in telling you that they want this new beginning with you so that they get what they want. They want they want the passion. They want the passion for sure. But, you know, is it a real love message? And somebody's really wanting to take a leap of faith because I'm showing that this queen of cups here, which is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, you know, this person has a lot of love for you. She wants to take a new leap of faith with you. And, you know, this could be a same-sex, this could be a same-sex reading. I'm not showing not one single king on the board. And under the deck, there is another queen. I saw that. I peeked. Uh, this person... This Queen of Cups is wanting that leap of faith into love, a new beginning in love. She wants to reconcile a relationship with you with the Judgment card. Judgment is fire. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You were her Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is having it all, having all the abundance that you will ever need. Happy wife, happy life. And she was happy with you. You know, the truth about the happiness from the past. That's, you know, she's coming back to say, you know, this is what we had with each other is what it looks like. But because there was an ending here with the the death card. This is Scorpio. This this Queen of Cups could be the Scorpio. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Take it how it resonates. Could be vice versa. There's a, either a transition here or there is 
a death or an ending. So an ending, the, the ending to happiness. Happiness ended because somebody was a player here. You know, you have the you have a you have four aces and you have the two tens. You have you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. This is having it all with somebody. Definitely having it all. And you know, maybe that's what this person's so anxious about is that you were not just their ten of pentacles, but you were also their ten of cups. They want that new beginning with you in love and money and passion and truth. They want it all the way around. Because here you go. This is the the Ace of Pentacles. Now you've this is a new abundant beginning in love and money. You know, you had you had it all with each other. But something ended here with the world. So something new could begin. So something's happened here, Libra, because somebody's very guarded with the Nine of Wands. This is the wounded warrior card. Look, it's like he's got a wall around him and he's standing the ground. Standing her ground against whatever's coming at her. And standing her ground against this reconciliation and love. She's very guarded about that. Some, but one of you is very guarded about this reconciliation. Because there's a truth that needs to be spoken about being a player. And, and maybe that this love offer is deceptive. Now, under the deck, we have the four swords. Somebody is resting. You know, they're thinking about the broken heart. There's a broken heart here. Usually this card has three swords above your head and one in your hand. So you've got the sword of truth in your hand with the three swords above your head because you know there was a broken heart that you need to speak about. Going in, you could be resting, could be at a distance. Um, this could be also a travel card. So you could be wanting to travel towards somebody. But here's another queen. This is the queen of pentacles. This is, you know, she's a very abundant, grounded woman. She's, you know, very comfortable in herself. Holding on to her pinnacle. She's got everything she needs. You're resting about that because you're holding. Somebody's holding on here. Maybe holding on to the coin. Holding on to money. Are you anxious about a judgment? Is that is that is that about a divorce? Is this possibly about a divorce? And that you have another lover already and you're still, the ex is holding on to you? Possibly, and you're guarded about that, and you're anxious. Maybe you were a player in the past. You're having some regret here with the Five of Cups. There's some regret going on. You're, you know, holding on to the regret. And there, there you go, right there. You're holding on to the regret, regret of the broken heart with this, the Three of Swords. So, I'm thinking the ex, this is an ex-wife, possibly. It's holding on to the, and regretting this broken heart but you were a player in and out this person was a player this person had had this lover obviously there was a deception here there was a deception that this person doesn't know about maybe she doesn't know about this queen of pentacles but we have somebody who was stabbed in the back and it ended somebody was stabbed in the back and it ended oh yeah this is wow Okay, Libra, what I'm summing this up to be is you have this queen. You have this queen who was with this queen. This was a couple. These two were a couple. Now, this person, the third person, would be this queen of cups here. This queen of cups is getting this message of love from this, this person who's a player. And... This person over here is sitting with a broken heart holding on to whatever ended between you where she was backstabbed. So, wow, what a read, Libra. I hope this resonates with somebody. Please leave me a comments down below if it does. I hope you have a great week, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.